Hello, SBC fam. Pastor Pitts here with another daily devotional. A very brief word for us to focus on for today. Today, we're going to continue our series in Philippians chapter 2. We've looked at verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. And today, I want to focus on verse 5. And it reads this way. Let this mind be in you, which also is in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which also is in Christ Jesus. Today, our key word is mindset. Carter G. Woodson said that if you can control someone's mind, you can control their entire body and their entire being. The mind is the central system by which determines our behavior and our actions. Godly actions happen when we have a renewed way of thinking that is different from that of the world. Right thinking produces right actions. Our actions are to be fruit of our deepest thoughts and our beliefs. And this is not just true for us as individuals, but us as a corporation or as a corporate church, that we should have the mindset that is in Christ Jesus said, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. And the mindset of Christ Jesus was always, always looking out for the interests of others, always seeing how in the most incredible, tough situations, how to demonstrate grace and love and mercy. Now, let's not get mistaken. Let's not be mistaken here. Jesus was never light on sin. He never wanted us to get away with what we um, were doing. He often would challenge someone, call them out where they would be, and then give them this admonishment or this charge to go and sin no more, or to go and be free of your affliction, or go and do likewise. The mindset of Jesus is not the mindset to say, I got you. Uh Uh-huh. You're messed up and I knew it. The mindset of Christ Jesus is always to help people to move from their sinful self to their better self, that we are better than we are when we're at our worst, to see the bright side, if you will. Together, we need to think and act like Christ Jesus with a single mindset, a mindset that we can be better than our worst selves, that there's hope in the midst of hopelessness. There is calm in a storm. There is life in the midst of death. The mindset of Jesus, there's nothing too hard for the Lord. And with his help and with his power and with his love, we too can have that same mindset. Are you willing to let go of that which we hold on to and think about and to have a mindset like Christ Jesus? Let that mindset be in you. Over the next several days or next several devotions that I'll do, I'll give you illustrations and demonstrations of what that mindset looks like. We got a clue in the previous that we look after the needs of others. We esteem others better than ourselves. We reflect on what God has done for us through Christ Jesus. And over the next few days, we'll have some more reflection. Thank you for giving me a time to share. Let us go to God in prayer. Great and wonderful God, we are so thankful that you have given us the ability to have a renewed mind, that our mind can be like that of Jesus Christ. And we thank you that you have given us your word because your word tells us what kind of mindset Jesus has. The mindset of serving, the mindset of loving, the mindset of being um, truthful with where people are, but able to speak to where people can be. God, I pray that we too will adopt that mindset, that we can speak into lives about hope and possibilities. Forgive us, oh God, for us being so judgmental at times. And God, thank you for redeeming and saving us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Over the next couple of days, think about your mindset, your attitude. And until we meet again, peace.